guys welcome back to another pinball facts tournament video we're going to be going over the leaderboard scores for last week's tournament on the five minute challenge with attack from mars and then we'll go into the next five minute challenge table so first let me say this is probably one of my favorite tables to do the five minute challenge on i think this table was made for challenges like this because it's so high scoring um and, you know, there is a strategy, right? There is a strategy. I mean, most of the points that you're going to score are going to be um, scored from hitting the uh, flying saucer, the spaceship, right? Destroying it, essentially. And um, so there are ways to do it fast and efficiently without draining the ball. Even though on this five-minute challenge, you can tilt. I mean, you can nudge as much as you want without tilting. Um, there's still ways to be efficient with it, right? So what I learned from this mode was that a couple things. Like, firstly, um, it's that, you know, in front of the spaceship, there's, I think, there's three spot targets that you have to hit to bring down the gate, right? And I'm learning that on this table with, a, you know, a certain shot from the flipper can hit two of those uh, at the same time. So you can get two for one instead of having to hit it, you know, once for each spot target so if you get a good hit you get you hit two of them and then right after it you want to you know catch the ball and then hit the other one wait a little while for the gate to go down because if you hit it too soon the gate will block the ball from hitting the spaceship so once the gate is down there are these three metal pieces around uh the spaceship and i i realized that to do the most damage you want to sort of hit the ball um, on one of the side metal pieces so that the ball kind of hits all three uh, of those metal pieces for damage and so the more hits you get the faster the spaceship uh, gets destroyed and the more points you get for uh, dealing the damage and that's something I never knew or realized until now which is kind of <clears throat> frankly um, you know kind of crazy that I didn't see that you know all this time I've been hitting the spaceship I just thought you just have to hit some kind of switch in the middle but there are these three metal plates around it that you want to hit hit the one on the sides and so that the ball can kind of bounce around hit the other two so you do them you do a lot of damage and you destroy the ship and so that pretty much you keep on doing that um, and if you can get to the wizard mode, that's where you get a lot of the points. But I found, for me, by doing that, by the time I got to the wizard mode, there was zero seconds. So I couldn't even make use of the uh, of that. But that's something that I did notice. I tried, I tried playing it with multi ball, but the multi ball does not really um, does not really score a lot considering all the time that it takes off the jackpots don't amount to anything compared to destroying the ship so um, I think it's really destroying that ship and knowing how to do it efficiently every second counts on this table um, so yeah I enjoyed it I mean look at the scores here look how close these all are and that was something that Draki was mentioning to me in the comment section just how um, how the five minute challenges seem to put a lot of people on the same level <clears throat> because when you have classic mode you know you can take all the time you want and um, some people it's just different you know it's just a different kind of challenge but uh, I wanna it's kinda crazy because this is Balchi's table this I mean this is Balchi's mode the um, Attack from Mars 5 minute challenge and I am surprised that he was uh, he was you know defeated in uh, I mean he came in second which is great but he usually comes in first so uh, let's go over the scores now so in first place we have Ref Jeff Ref Jeff uh, he's a newer um, player to our tournaments but we've seen him a few times now so congratulations to Ref Jeff um, with his 10 billion score on Mars that is awesome. I mean, geez, like, you know that if you're scoring 10 billion in five minutes on Mars, I wonder what, like, you know, I wonder what they score on the normal. 
<laughs> but uh, so congratulations to Ref Jeff with that ten billion. Uh, in second place, just under him, Balchi ninety nine with ten billion, four hundred thirty seven million. So by three hundred million points, give or take, uh, really close there. So congratulations to both of them, Ref Jeff and Balchi, because those are both impressive scores. But I was just kind of surprised because Balchi usually takes the cake on this one. <clears throat> so in third place we have under Michael underscore three six three with six billion close to uh, no six million close to no six billion oh my gosh this table is so crazy like that it's six billion points close to seven billion um, this table is so high scoring that I just keep on reading that as million right and then I came in fourth uh, pretty much uh, my last attempt I, I was just trying real hard and I got to six billion five hundred twenty three million. Uh, it moved me up by a little because these scores here were all really determined by, you know, a couple million, right? So in fifth place, we have Somatic. Welcome back, Somatic. I have not seen Somatic's name in a long time in these tournaments. Um, but Somatic, shout out to Somatic with six billion, four hundred ninety-five million, almost uh, six and a half billion. Somatic uh, is my first and only uh, uh, YouTube's. YouTube Prime membership. I don't even know what you call it, but thank you to Somatic for um, you know his six months of being a uh, channel member. It's just really cool. I have to add more things. I'm gonna definitely do more, but I just wanted to thank Somatic for those six months. And um, he has a cool little icon next to his name, an orange <laughs> like new leaf icon. Um, so as you as the months as you know your member longer it gets darker and there's even like a a king hat i think at the last one but it's something that i'm just i'm still kind of new to so i'm figuring that figuring those stuff out and i'll definitely be adding more to it but shout out to somatic <clears throat> in sixth place we have crane 10 bats with six billion points just under fifth place somatic seventh place we have Dracky barks with six billion points as well six billion one hundred fifty one million Underneath him is Fabled Scarab 79 with 6 billion points. And underneath Fabled Scarab in ninth place is UTD 4000 with 5 billion points. Almost close to 6 billion. And in 10th place, Bad Jack Daniels with 5 billion 636 million. And last but not and last in last place, Wombat and a Hat in 11th place with 4 billion 173 million points. <clears throat> so thank you guys for participating in this closed tournament. Um, I kept it closed because the last tournament we had, it was like 43 people. It was a nice show out, don't get me wrong. I mean, I enjoy having a lot of competition, but um, I think they fixed the password. So I think I'm going to switch, go off and on. I think I'm going to keep some open, some closed, just to sort of see how that works. Um, but for this tournament, for this week... Figured we could do a five minute challenge on Tales of the Arabian Nights. I was, I just have a feeling that, you know, this is, this could be a good table because this is like a pretty, this, like, this table has a lot of ways to score. So let's see. And I haven't played it in a long time. I just have an itch to play it. Six days unlimited. Let's keep it open. This time we'll keep it open. And let's go, everyone. Oh, yeah. So the tournament ID is here. It's E0NG. Put that here, and let's go. So it's unlimited attempts, six days, five-minute challenge. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the skill shot. So there's no tilting on this one, which is cool. I have big points for you. That's not big points. You know, my only gripe with this table is there's not a lot of bumper action. Which I wish there was more of. It's just that the design of the table makes it so you don't hit the bumpers that much.
<laughs> Keep on shooting bizarre. The bazaar. Spin the lamp, come on. Got a little magnet there. Hurl the fireball! No problem hitting a genie with a pinball. See, I don't think I've hit a pot bumper once in <laughs> this game. There we go, got him. I love how the genie shakes when you hit him with the pinball. <laughs> I love toys on, like, uh, pinball machines. It kind of reminded me of, like, Happy Meals, right? <laughs> like... More expensive Happy Meal toys. I want to hit the bazaar. What is the bazaar lit, lit, lit red for? Oh, multi ball. Let's go. Got a minute 54 left. <clears throat> See how the time is paused and then it starts when the balls are in play? I like that. Some tables. It's counting down during like these cutscenes. Strike the genie. Hitting the genie is not that easy. It's like a. Because the, the lamp is blocking it a little bit. Whoa, I think that's going to be how to score big on this table. Multi ball hitting the genie. Spinning the lamp. Let's go. Extra ball on a five minute challenge. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, shoot the ramp now. I got 45 seconds to do that. Let's go. Got me some jewels. Wait, I get to choose here, right? Collect a jewel. Oh man, I love this table. I haven't played it in so long, but every time I play it, it's like... Ooh. Let me get to 10, mil 10 million. Seven seconds. Okay. Collect the jewel, because I got five seconds left. Got the 10 billion though. 10 million. And another thing you want to notice, I think this is a table that you don't want to focus on the end of ball bonus because you're not it's not gonna count. 
So thank you guys for watching and participating um, in this week's Pinball FX tournament video. Thank you for everyone who joined in Attack from Mars. Hope you guys have fun on this one. Um, and that's the whole point I create these. So you guys can have fun and challenge each other. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.